What's up guys, it is I, the Ultimate Gamer here, here recording a brand new video, and this time I'll be doing a brand new pickup video for you guys. And today, we're going to be looking at the 30th anniversary character encyclopedia from Capcom featuring 200 plus characters from Capcom games, including Mega Man, Street Fighter, Darkstalkers, Resident Evil, Devil May Cry, Azure's Wrath, Remember Me, Marvel vs. Capcom, and much, much more. Now, this runs up to about 12 to $13, but if you're a fan of Capcom games in general and want to know what games that have been made in North America and several parts of Japan and Australia, then this book is definitely right for you, especially if you're a Capcom fan, if you grew up playing the, the games from the 80s all the way up to the 90s and the early 2000s. So, without further ado, let's, get, let's look at the 30th anniversary character encyclopedia made by Capcom. So on the front, you got Beautiful Joe, you got Mega Man, you got Ryu from Street Fighter, you got Arthur, you got Morrigan from Darkstalkers, Jill Valentine from Resident Evil. On the side, you have Capcom 30th Anniversary Character Encyclopedia. On the back, you got Okonami. Celebrate 30 wonderful years with some of the most famous characters in the history of video games, featuring more than 200 Capcom characters from A to 1 all the way down to 0. And then on the back, you got Chun Li from Street Fighter, Dante for Del May Cry, and Phoenix Wright. So let's take a look at the character encyclopedia guide and here are some couple screenshots for different characters. It's very illustrated you guys. Um, I am very impressed. So we got Ada Wong from Resident Evil, Adon from Street Fighter, Agrippa from Shadow of Rome, AX 10mm Blodia, Blodia whatever. Ayo and Akira from Rival Schools, Owl Rescuer from Resident Evil, Akuma from Street Fighter, got Alex from Street Fighter, Meshu from Okonami, really good game, Apollo Justice, Horizon from Dragon's Dogma, got Arthur from Knights of the Round, got Azura from Azura's Wrath, a very underrated game that I highly recommend checking out, got Axel from Mega Man X Zero, Got Baby Bonnie Hood from Darkstalkers, Barry Bird from Resident Evil, Balrog from Street Fighter, Got Bass from Mega Man, Billy from Gunsmoke, and it shows you the character biographies, when the game was first made, what's available for consoles, it tells you the hometowns of these different characters, and example is Come now rules and once the properest gold rush community of Hicksville, and only a young man named Billy has the courage to stop the ten bandits, Indians, and ninja who are responsible. That's the story to the arcade version of Gunsmoke. The mail to the NES version changes Billy's name to Billy Bob, and the shortened game gives him a smaller lineup of criminals to catch and all of whom are now part of the crime family known as the Wingates. That's pretty interesting. And then we got... Bishamon from Darkstalkers, Black Tiger. We got Black Tiger, we got Brave One, we got Blanca from Street Fighter, Cami, got Buster Bros. It says here first appearance, Buster Bros. Made in, in the arcade in Game Boy and Turbo Graphics 16 in 1989. Most of recent appearance was Super Blaster Brothers. Or sorry, Super Buster Bros. Currently playable on Capcom Puzzle World for the PSP back in 2007. His occupation is adventurer, his weapon choice is a harpoon, and his arch enemy is bubbles. <laughs> that's very, <laughs> that's something. You got Captain Commando, Casper Rublin, you got Charlie from Street Fighter, Chris Redfield from Resident Evil, you got Chicky Chicky Boys, and I'll read part of it for you guys, but it says here, the kingdom of Arula had known peace for so long that it was completely unprepared to defend itself from a surprise monster invasion of the royal family. Only the king's two infant sons survived, both apparently so young that the kid hadn't gotten around to giving them better names than Chicky Boy 1 and Chicky Boy 2. When the boys came out of age 15 years later, they set off on a quest to find the legendary Dragon Blue Eyes, which has the power to save their cursed kingdom. That's pretty cool. I mean, some of these games I, I've heard before, but some of them are just like, wow. Either they're not well known in the states, or they're currently outside of Japan. So you got Cody Travers from from Final Fight, but he's also playable on Street Fighter Alpha Three. Got Kasami, got Colonio, and uh, 
can't read can't really read the last name, so I sincerely apologize. You got Dan from Pocket Fighter. He's also playable on the Street Fighter series and also Super Turbo Fighter Puzzle HD Remix on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox Live Marketplace. You got Dante from Del May Cry, that's what's up. Dasleem from Street Fighter, Dimitri from Darkstalkers, Dip, Dick Gumshoe from Phoenix Wright, Donovan Blaine from Darkstalkers, Dr. Albert Willie from Mega Man, Dylan Morton from Dino Crisis 2, yeah, that's what's up. Edward Falcon from Power Stone, Emin Honda from Street Fighter, Felicia from Darkstalkers, Emma Sky from Ace Apollo Justice Attorney, Fiona and Huey from Haunted Grounds, really good game, very underrated in my opinion. Gene from God Hand, really good game. Frank West from Dead Rising, Gil from Street Fighter, a lot of Street Fighter because that's one of Capcom's most known, most known balloon franchises of all time. Got Guy from Final Fight, Harmon Smith from Killer Seven, and here's a fun fact: Killer Seven is also the name of the gun in Resident Evil Four, so it's a reference to the game on GameCube. Uh, Hideyato Kazuki from Plasma Sword. Uh, Hauser from Red Earth, Helena Harper from Resident Evil, Hideyoshi Shizami from Rival Schools, very underrated game in my opinion, uh, Howard Pell from Mercs, Hugo from Final Fight, Heshin Ko from Darkstalkers, Hunter from Monster, Monster Hunter Ultimate 3, Hay Hayato Inuama from Rival Schools, Isabella Kisi from Dead Rising, Ingrid from Capcom Fighting Evolution, Jake Muller from Resident Evil 6, Jetta from Darkstalkers, Jill Valentine from Resident Evil, and Jessica. I'm surprised they picked the Resident Evil Revelations outfit for Jill Valentine. I thought they were going to go with the one with the remake that's on the GameCube. So, Jim Payton from Lost Planet 3, uh, Joseph, Joseph Super Joe Gibson from Commando, Ken from Street Fighter, June Lynn Milliam from Plasma Sword. Kenji from Red Earth, Keens of the Dragon, the entire cast. I don't know. This is a this is a really cool book, you guys. If you if you're a fan of Capcom and want to know all the different character backgrounds from each series, then this book is definitely for you. Each page is very well illustrated, shows you character biographies, where they first appeared, what console it's on, and shows you their latest releases. It's really cool. And they've done a really good job with the um with the art and illustrated for each character and gives you a brief reading on who they are and what they do if, you know video game wise so we got Lancelot you got Lan Hakari from Mega Man Battle Network Leon Kenny from Resident Evil Lord Raptor from Darkstalkers, Lonely Astronaut Lou and Siva, Lieutenant Harry and Sergeant Sanders you got Lucka from Lost Planet Extreme Condition best Lost Planet game in my opinion M. Bison from Street Fighter, Mac the Knife from Captain Commando, Maki Generosity, uh, Jingarasi from Final Fight. Sorry if I don't pronounce these Japanese names, I don't speak Japanese. So we got Maya Fei from Phoenix Wright, we got Mega Man, of course, Mega Man, the legend himself. We got Michelle Hart from Legendary Wings, Mike, ha uh, Mike Hager from Final Fight, Miles Edgeworth from Phoenix Wright. Mr. Rangi Ishidi from uh, Sinaku Bascara, Son of My Heroes. Morgan Allison from Darkstalkers, who I love. Nathan Red Spencer from Bio Commando. This is the reboot Bio Commando. Don't play that game, it's fucking stupid. Uh, Nemesis R Type from Resident Evil. My favorite villain in the entire franchise. You got Nero from Dale May Cry 4. You got Nilin from Remember Me, which I'm kind of surprised they added, added her to the page, you guys. Sorry about that. Um. I'm really surprised they've added her because uh, Remember Me is, has been one of those games that's been kind of a hit and miss, giving it mixed reviews, but overall the game is very underrated. It has a really good combat system reminding me of Bat the uh, Batman Arkham series. The music is very well done, it's all cyberpunk based, and overall the story is a really good game, but I highly recommend checking it out if you can. It's, it's free on PlayStation Plus members if you're a member of PlayStation Plus in general. Octavanius from Shadow of Rome, one of my favorite games for PS2 that's ever came out. Um, P38 Lightning from 1943, Parker Rikizzi from Resident Evil, Patrick Tyler from Dawn Crisis 3, the worst game in the series. Go play the first two, they're much better. Got Phoenix Wright from Phoenix Wright, Pierce Nivens from Resident Evil 6, Poison. 
from Final Fight and she's also in the Street Fighter X Tekken game. Proto Man from Mega Man, Princess of uh, whatever, not really, I'm not even going to spill it out. The PTX-40A Vital Suit from Lost Planet Extreme Condition, Pyron from Darkstalkers, Rathalog from Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, Regina from Dino Crisis, Rebecca Chambers from Resident Evil, love those series to death. Heard room, I've heard rumors that there's going to be a Dino Crisis reboot. I'm not sure if it's going to be true, but I've heard speculations that it might come out for next generation of consoles, which kind of pisses me off. But you know what? It's it is what it is, and I look forward to it. Got Roll from Mega Man, Rolento from Final Fight, Rose from Street Fighter, Roll from Mega Man Legends. Got Roy from Rival Schools, Ra Rogue from Power Stone, Ryu from Adventures. Not to be confused, also Ryu from Street Fighter. There's a lot of Ryu's. <laughs> you got Saigot Sa or Saget from Street Fighter. Servbots from Mega Man Legends. Sakura from Street Fighter. Seth from Street Fighter. Sexy Silver from Beautiful Joe. A great PS2 game. Shava Olimar, Sherry Birkin from Resident Evil. She's also on Resident Evil 2. Uh, Sig Warman from Chaos Legion. Sigma from Mega Man X, Sin Arthur from Ghost and Goblins, also available on Marvel vs. Capcom series, Sizzle from Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective, Sodon from Final Fight, also on Street Fighter, Saki from Animusha, Dawn of Dreams, not the best Animusha game in my opinion, but I think my favorite one is the third one, Demon Siege, Sonya Hart from Dragon Quest 3, she is the protagonist in the game, Sonsen from Sun Sun, Strider Hiaru, there we go from Strider and they've also rebooted this game which is really good you guys it's also available for the Xbox 360 PlayStation 3 Xbox one and the PlayStation 4 and I highly recommend checking it out and there's a demo for Strider it's really worth it you guys Super Ace from 1942 Super Joe from Speed Rumbler the dragon from Dragon's Dogma really underrated game from Capcom you guys it's not the best RPG well it is it's one of the good RPGs it's actually really good for your money but I would recommend getting Dark Horizon. It's pretty much the same game, but with d additional content inside. Got Tiffany Lords from Rival Schools, Thomas Clark from Mercs, Trish from Devil May Cry, Trojan from Trojan, Urien from Street Fighter, Tron Bonnie from Mega Man Legends, Vega from Street Fighter, Vanessa Z. Schneider from PN03, Virgil from Devil May Cry. I like this Virgil a lot more better than the DMC Devil May Cry reboot game. Overall, I really love the game to death, you guys. Um, it is it is what it is. You got Virgil Tank from Steel, Bat Steel Battle on, Heavy Armor, Beautiful Joe from Beautiful Joe, Wang Tang from Power Stone, Volgus from Volgus, Waysiders from Lost Planet 2, Wiki from Zack and Wiki, Quest for Barbaro's Treasure, Yang from Street Fighter, X from Mega Man X, Yasha from Azure's Wrath, Yukimura Sanda, Zack from Zack and Wiki, Young from Street Fighter, Zero from Mega Man X, Zangi from Street Fighter, and that is it you guys, is the entire guide for Capcom's 30th Anniversary Character Encyclopedia featuring 200 plus characters from Capcom fighting games. If you guys really enjoyed this video, leave a comment on the section below and please be sure to subscribe. It would really help me a lot and I don't and I understand I haven't I don't make a lot more videos more often, but I would like to try and can and upload more videos whenever I can. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Be on the lookout for more videos right here on my YouTube channel. Stay gaming my friends. And also I want to give another um, heads up that there might be another another video sometime later in this month. So I'll be on the lookout more for that. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, I will talk to you later.